Man, was this a weird one. Yet another Tenshi Muyo series that is completely and absolutely confused the shit out of me. <laughs> Though I do remember taking a massive break between episodes. You do gotta remember this was shit was airing like months apart. I just took a massive months apart break <laughs> because I kind of forgot this show was airing. So I watched one, two, and three all together, like you know when they were airing. And then poof, man, you break. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> so the last three episodes, I watched those recently. So I might be missing some info from the last ones. I didn't really go back and check because I didn't really want to, because that was three more episodes I didn't want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, then it got more shotties. That's with him. And some of y'all might know I'm a MILF enjoyer. We gonna talk about the best girl. It's clearly Sukiko, bro. Like, you know, she a baddie for real, bro. And, you know, MILFs are better, superior, bro. We have a MILF supremacy around this parts, bro. Uh, but it was also super cool seeing her uh, learn magic and shit, you know, in that whole, like, isekai world. And in that isekai world, bro, Sukiko was fucking working, man. She was putting in that fucking work, getting strong as shit, fucking up those elves lady on my screen right now, like the gif I'm playing. <laughs> but yo, yo, she, she was working, man. Yo, she just wanted to see Sena, bro. Sena need to reciprocate her feelings, bro. Dead ass, man. I would. Would a thousand percent clap those. I pretty, I enjoyed that part. I enjoyed pretty much the entire series. Like, you know, from what I remember, you know, super funny like it usually is. I just felt like, you know, there were aspects of the show that I should know significantly more about <laughs> than like, you know, displayed. Yeah, like the dual ladies are now bunked up with Sena and then they got magic now. Like that's all supposed to be completely normal, bro. I know, I know. Before y'all say it, I know I'm completely hoeing myself with not reading the manga. I'm limiting myself to not reading the manga. So I'm keeping it anime only stuff. I just think it's pretty cool to piece it all together myself while just watching it. Though it's truthfully, truthfully, entirely kicking my fucking ass. <laughs> nah, dead ass, it really is. Cause it's like, it's really hard to piece it together just via the anime, animes, I guess, cause it's multiple, uh, by themselves. Cause it's just uh, so much shit you can overlook. Plus they don't explain a lot. And plus they just go all over the timeline, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I can also tell that they're building some stuff up with like the magic isekai world like there's gonna be some like some crazy anomaly child or whatever some anomaly <laughs> like tenchi or something i don't know if it's supposed to be like show you know the the guy that's like you know overseeing the tabletop island and shit which you know i explicitly remember during the entire show liking that a lot especially the part where they straight up just accelerate the the, the entire ecosystem over the island that's pretty fucking cool man The whole, the whole time acceleration shit that they got is pretty sick. You know, with the, with the technology this, this series has, it's just always fascinating to watch. But let's be honest, it's mainly Washu carrying the technology department in the show. Don't, don't get me wrong. But Jirai people, you know, the Jirai Federation or whatever you'd like to call them, you know? They got some good technology too. They they mainly rely on like the ships and shit, but you know, they got nothing to wash you though with the, the goddamn technology and shit. Personally, that's my personal opinion. They don't really got nothing to wash you. Though I mean, I'm kind of biased. Wash you's like God form, fine, bro. Fine as shit. However, I am always confused. I should really check out the manga. But will I? But no, nigga.